Good evening, everybody, or good morning, wherever you're at. For me, it is early in the morning at 4 o'clock, and I want to talk about something that maybe a few people go through, not everybody, but I'm sure you've been through something similar. Do you have somebody in your life who, or not just one person, but maybe several, but let's just say for one, do you have someone in your life that shows up? They seem to appear in your life maybe during certain times of the of the calendar month the calendar, whatever it is the year or maybe they just show up unannounced once in a while but you can try calling them all throughout the year texting them they don't respond to you but for some reason they found their way back into your life and it's like hard not to say hi because you've been Reaching out to them, of course, you know, it's just exciting, right? Because you've been waiting for that message for like a year, two years. All right, so one thing I realized, I was reading some stuff on the internet, and the answers that I got were, they were like very simple. Like they didn't, they didn't dive into a lot of things that I thought would be more, that like it would make more sense why someone, why anybody would come into your life. And then you just decide one day that I'm going to stop talking to you. And then we don't hear from them for, what, two, three years. I was reading a blog, and the blog, the blogger was saying that he was saying that she, like, he had a friend that stopped talking to him simply just because there's certain people who they try to really just attach themselves to one person. And I don't think that's true. Because that sounds more that sounds more like a personal experience than it does like a general. That sounds very personal. That sounds like it's only it can only be assigned to that person. Because that's not really it's not I I wouldn't call that like a basic instinct, put it that way. Like I think personally someone will or not someone, not just anyone, but somebody who will walk in and out of your life. The reason that they do that is because you allow them to. Basically, it's a way of saying they feel like they can take advantage of you. I, I know, I know. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be as like you know reasonable as possible. And I don't think necessarily that they're they're doing, they're always doing that just so that they can get something from you. Not always, but it's it's pretty clear that they don't respect you. They don't respect your time. They don't respect your, your, your life. They don't respect, they just, they just have no respect for you, put it that way. And there's a good, there, there could be other reasons too. This is not the only reasons. I think sometimes we need to take breaks from people. I think that's important. I think, I think when somebody is like, when, because we get exhausted with each other. And as we're growing up, we have our toxic Tuesdays sometimes, you could say. And Maybe sometimes it's just, just to save the relationship. Sometimes you do need, you know, some space to, just so you can save the relationship. Like for the long run, it's, it's better to endure a little bit of suffering, you know, in the beginning. Then, and later on, like when you guys are more mature, you guys can, you know, bring that subject up and talk about it and see maybe if, if there's something that you guys can clarify and change. Because usually we make these permanent decisions, like for, we can't make these, because we're very quick now. As a generation, to we're very quick, like to like you know make a decision, and we are to actually think about what we're gonna do. That's why, like when it comes to like rappers and all these people that are getting careers taken away from gun violence, is because one, you don't play with fire. You don't play with fire and expect not to not to get burned. That's just the truth. You know what I mean? If you don't like fire, don't don't work at the refinery. And if you don't like fire, don't work in the kitchen. You know what I mean? That's just how it is. You're going to get burned. I think that's one. I think one reason really is, yeah, that, that's one reason is that you're, you, you forgive easily, maybe. It's a very, I mean, I'm not changing it really. It's not a, a big flex from the first one, but it really, it really depends because for me personally, like, I can talk a lot, you know, I talk a lot of crap. You know what I mean? Like I can, like people know me for like, you guys, five different people, they're totally doing like a bunch of different answers, but like people generally know me as someone who's like a smart ass sometimes. 
sometimes I'll be as far as sometimes I'll be very openly sexual, like non PC. And yeah, and sometimes I'll be a little bit more conservative or sometimes like people know, people know me. They know when I'm quiet. Everybody doesn't like it when I'm quiet. Because when I'm quiet, it means like some shit's about to fucking happen. Because I'm usually the one who doesn't, who can't shut up. So when some, when I get quiet, people get freaking like, people start to get anxious because they're just like, oh shit, like, dude, it's quiet, bro. Because I'm one of those, I'm one of those who like, who basically, yeah, like, if you, if you got me yelling and stuff, then most likely, most likely I'm not that mad. I'm probably just mad, maybe not. But like, when I'm quiet, that's like me entering like a freaking, that's like me entering a mutt to kill somebody's own. Like, it's like the craziest thing ever. But yeah, people are gonna, I think, can they write like a layout? So I'm just freebasing this. I said freebasing. Free smoking crack? <laughs> Damn. Shit, man. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Nah, I'm just kidding. But I, I think the first one I know is, um, if you're somebody that they can take advantage of, then they will take advantage of you. And that's, I know that's it's sad, but that's, that's the way we are. If you think about it, we do, everybody does it. Like in, in some sort of on the spectrum, like a very pity, small, like maybe, you know what I mean? From all walks of life, everybody, we all, we all participate in a little bit of that, to be honest. And I think... I just think right now it's it's so confusing. Like, all right, so personally, I have this friend, and she, me and her, like, man, like we click so well. When we're together, man, I just can't have enough of her. She's like literally my favorite person, like in the whole wide world. But, but I told her like straight up that I can't be like a platonic friend to her. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I don't want. It doesn't mean. Like just because I I want I don't want to be a platonic friend to her, does not mean that I'm necessarily trying to have sex with her. You know what I mean? You get what I mean? Like just I just don't want her to to get the vibe as if I don't want I'm not trying to get put in the friend zone. No, like you know, put it that way. It's like it's like no, like you're either fucking or you're either fucking me, talking to me, or and that's it. Like, cause yeah, I'm not gonna be your I'm not gonna be your male gay friend. That's what gay friends and girlfriends are for. You don't do that with your boyfriend. You have this what the gay guys are for, and that's what some girls are for as a straight. But yeah, that's why I was just like, like, what do you think? Like, she's like, I don't understand, like, why you think that way. And I said, what do you mean? I said, is that, I said, like, basically, what I said was that it doesn't mean because just because of I don't want to be friends doesn't mean that like we don't we're not cool, and it doesn't mean we can't say hi to each other. It doesn't mean we can't talk. I'm just saying that we can't. You can't be trying to hang out with me. And expect me to just entertain you without sex or without anything that's like, without anything that's engaging, even a kiss. You know what I mean? Like, that's just, I, I, I'm straight up. Like, I'm very straight up in the, in, I'm straight to the point. Like, I let, I let them know right away my intentions because I don't want, I, I don't want girls to be misled. Or I don't want to mislead myself too. I don't want them, because I, I think sometimes like some girls, I don't know, some girls are kind of like retarded for some reason. So, I'm just like, why would you go to a guy's house if you aren't going to fuck him? And they're just like, oh, I just want to hang out. I'm like, you're dumb as hell. That does not, that's not how it works. It does not work like that. Like, I don't get why people don't get this. Like, if you go to a guy's house and let's say you guys been texting for a few days, maybe a few weeks, you better not go there and try not to fuck him. Because that, that's just fucked up. You know what I mean? That's just, that's just wrong. You know what I mean? Because... He's expecting to get some. That's what. That's pretty much what it is. He's expecting, like, finally, him get some. Yes, finally. And then you know he probably cleans his house. You know he probably shaves. He probably gets a haircut. Does a bunch of stuff to you know make himself look good. You come over and you don't do shit. That's that's some bullshit. You know what I mean? Once you come in through those doors, once you come in through those doors, it's oh we fucking. You're not leaving here till we fucking <laughs> or something. But what the hell? You did, you did not like. I'm not trying to. I'm not. Trust me, I'm not trying to be like a, I'm not, I'm not forcing, I'm not a person, I don't, I don't force anything on anyone. It's just one of those like unforbidden, like, it's like an unwritten rule. And like women are starting to think that this is okay, but it's not okay. It's not, you don't just go to a guy's house and expect him not, and then put the expectation that he's not going to try to get at you. 
like that's just how it is it's just ah some girls are so naive so naive but yeah so like when it comes to me and, and uh her i think i told her like as much as i like her in my life as much as I, it feels good to have her around and it does feel nice to have someone to talk to once in a while it's not worth it for me it sucks because it really sucks because i like having somebody there i do then we don't have to be girlfriend boyfriend like whatever we don't have to be committed but i just like that feeling of something that's new and i don't know i just it's i just don't understand girls <laughs> i'm sorry I'm all, I'm all like going back to my last subject i just don't understand i, I listen to a lot of females do podcasts do do podcasts do in person i had like, grew up with girls basically and they all seem to be asking like a very similar question and like i'm just like what how do you guys not know the answers to that i don't say it, like but i don't give them the answer because i'm just like yeah and then i don't think they're ready i think they're ready for the answer yeah a lot of times it means stuff you can't take back anyway so like for the last two or three days we've been texting me and that girl and of course like, we never okay so for context we're not we never had a thing we're, we're not a thing we're actually just like really good friends there's a we're really, we're friends. I guess you can say if I had to introduce her, I wouldn't, I can only introduce you to her as my friend. That's it, obviously. So like, in a way, it's like, it, like when I see the whole platonic thing, it is like unfair in a way, because it's like, why would you do that to somebody? Uh -huh. like, like, I don't know, like sometimes it, it happened to me before when I was like dating too. Like when I was dating and like growing up, I was like, what the fuck? Like, I went all the way over here to your house to sleep over your house and we're not gonna fuck. Like I used to I remember like girls used to invite me to their house and then I'm just like, all right, cool, you know how I get I get all ready, shape my pubes, I buy some condoms, lambskin, Trojan, and I mean I get I get ready. I hit the cologne about six, seven times. I get some Listerine, I brush my teeth, get those and then I get them Listerine, those little those little squares that melt in your mouth. Oh man, uh, those are my shits. They can be keeping my my breath like on point, you know what I mean. I get I get already, you know what I mean. Pretty much that's that's the I think that's the least you can do. That's the kindest thing you can do. Look good. I'll make your house look nice, and as well make your body look nice. Maybe I don't know. And then you know what I mean. I'm just saying, or you know, I'm just saying, if I do something that like you if you invite if a girl invites me to her house, and I'm not, I'm not saying not just any girl, like not just like other like is. Uh, there, there are some girls that I don't mind being platonic with because obviously we need those girls. But I'm talking about the like, girls that you can see like that as if they're like your little sister. Yeah, that's different. You don't have to. Yeah, so that's like totally different because it's, yeah. But yeah, like it's just, in my opinion, it's, I think it's very, I think, I don't know, I just think it's rude. I think it's one of the most fucked up things you can do is to invite somebody to your house. Like a girl for it to invite a guy to her house and expect him not to, and have no, it, have zero expectations of fucking him. I think that's wrong. Don't let a man in your house if you're not fucking him. Like, to be honest, like, that's just wrong. You know, that sounds like some serial killer shit. Like, that guy's, that, that, that guy's definitely psycho for some reason. I feel like if he try, if he at least, like, just attempts to do stuff for you, then I think that's fine. But I think if he's, he's playing this, like, weird old game where he's just weird in your room and stuff, then yeah, that's so weird. And then you guys all wake up all tied up in chains and shit. See, that's weird. That's the weird. That's the real weird. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I, I honestly, I think, I don't even think that I like her. You know that? I think I like the idea of having a girlfriend or I like the idea of being in a relationship more than I actually like the person who I've been talking to. Just kind of confusing, but that's just pretty much like where I stand. It's, it's so difficult for me to really, that better not be her. Watch it be her. I'll be like, bitch, you didn't text me back for like how long? I'm like, I'm like, damn, bro, this it's been like, it's been like, it's been like years already. You don't text me back that late? Hold well, on, fuck that. Let me text me all fucking five, all fucking twelve hours later. Fuck you, bitch. If a bitch, if a bitch texts me back like years later, man, I'm over that shit. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean too. I'm just being. I think I'm just being rational. I don't think, I don't think you should be trying to engage with women who don't. Why waste your time? Why the fuck are you going to waste your time for? To be honest, if, they, if they're not texting you back, like, constantly, then they don't fuck with you. And at the same time, but this is only at the build-up, though, okay? This is only during the build-up. 
because like, you can't you can't just text girls too like if once you start dating you can't be on the phone with them it's only the text game is just to build up and that's just to get them comfortable with you you know what i mean that's just to get you like to get you into that into that zone where you're able to at least hit her up whenever you want to hang out so once you you know what i mean once you establish that then only use the phone for that to be honest there's nothing else that the, the phone is needed dude that's what you have other girls for don't be texting like this is only if you really like a girl like if you really like her don't don't not don't smother her let her be let her wonder about you and why am i giving this advice on my freaking podcast what the hell <laughs> is this the advice that is this the advice that you're looking for anxiety man to be real if i if i had any dating advice right when it comes to having anxiety i would say fucking i think if you just talk to the girl like i think your anxiety goes away you know what i mean like i think if you just start doing stuff that you actually think is scary but not anything don't do anything dangerous and don't, don't do anything illegal obviously but once you start facing once you start doing stuff that's like i guess like scary once you start like t- getting a taste of the, what scares you i think that's the only way it's okay this is a bad analogy because of covid it's not like a vaccine you know what i mean like I, I I haven't got a COVID vaccine, but I'm just saying that it's not like a vaccine. Once you it's once you pretty much my bad, you know my bad. Honestly, I know the subject that we're talking about is like why people walk in and out of your life and stuff. And I just had a moment and I just realized, like, fuck, it's I do the same thing. You can't just I'm not sitting here. It helps you if it helps. Then I just gave you a real world example of what's going on in my life. It's like to be honest, like. No, I'm not immune to this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just because I know, just because I know what to do, doesn't mean that I'm immune to it. It's not. It's not. I'm far from that. You know what I mean? I'm pretty much a lover boy. I I just I just tend to play around at first because like I play around at first because I think I think like I never take a girl seriously when they tell me that they like me, if they do, because what well, for one I'm just like, what the fuck do you like about me? Because I don't even know what the fuck I like about me. So what the fuck do you like about me? Please tell me. I'm intrigued. I need to know. Because I want to make sure that I, you might know me better than I know myself. Shit. Because I can't find, like, not two damn things I like about my fucking self. So, like, I don't know. It's it's pretty, like, for me, I, I feel like every relationship, I just, I fell into them. But that's why I think, that's why it's hard to, to date when you're, or to date, yeah, to date when you're an adult. Or when you're not in school. It's hard to really start dating again because you don't just fall on somebody. That's what happened pretty much every girl I dated. Like, I happened to just fall onto them. Literally, like, I don't know. I don't know how that, how to explain that. But I guess one way to say is, yeah, it just happened. We just happened. Like, like Kanye said, Kanye said in one song, baby, we were never meant to be. We just happened. Damn, I remember when I first heard, heard that song, I was like, whoa. Kanye was like Kanye, you going hard right now, bro. Kanye in the building, he over here getting off, letting all the girls know. I'm like, let him know, Kanye. Let him know. Let these hoes know. Let these fucking hoes know what the fuck we what the fuck they put us through. Us faithful men, man, we're so faithful. Us men, yeah, we do a lot for women. Women, okay, I sound like a fucking jerk. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just, I'm just joshing. And I'm just I'm butthurt I'm butt too because it's, it's it's frustrating. It's frustrating to have to have. It's, it's the most frustrating thing to have a friend. You know that you're. It's okay to be. It's okay to be attracted to your friend, but not if you're if you're straight. This is type of hypothetically, if you're the senses and you're straight, it's okay to be attracted to a friend that you have that's a girl. You know what I mean? I don't know. Who, I don't know who the fuck made up this fucking like rule that. Oh no, you can't like her. She's your friend. Like, what the fuck, bitch? Just because she's my friend doesn't mean I don't think she's fucking sexy. What the fuck? Just because just cause you're my friend doesn't mean I wouldn't fuck the shit out of you if you gave me the challenge. You know what I mean? That's why I I'm kind of lost. Where the fuck did these rules come out? Who the fuck came up with all these rules? I'm just like, what the fuck, bitch? I'm like, I'm like if I didn't know you, I would admit, I, like, I, I probably would have tried, I probably would have hit you already. But since like we're friends, of course I'm not pursuing you. You know what I mean? It's what the heck? It's like growing up, or growing up here where I grew up in the part of Los Angeles where I'm from. It's, man, it's, it's like everybody knows each other out here. So it's like, in a way, it's, you have to date the people here. But like, once you get older and stuff, it gets weird because 
you know, it just seemed weird for you to go get around the city. Everybody's going to know your business. If you date, if you date girls, they usually all hang out somewhat, somehow, some way. They all meet each other. That happened to me about 10 years ago. I saw on the recent Facebook posts. Kind of made me laugh. Facebook has that thing where it shows you like shit that you, like shit that you did 10 years ago and you're just like, fuck my life. And that's something in my life I've been trying to fucking not remember. And here's Facebook over here fucking blowing that shit in my face. Like I look like a fucking dick. Then I'm also just, honestly, I think, I think, like, I think we're all fucked up. I think, like, I think I'm a dick. I was like, a, like, I hope I used to be 10 years ago. Like, damn, I was a fucking dick. And then I'm looking at myself right now. I'm like, damn, I can be a dick sometimes. Yeah. And then as you think about it, as you go down and down, it's like, yeah, I can be a dickhead sometimes. It's just, you know, you got, it's self-awareness. You have to be honest with yourself. I think a lot of us, we, we lie to ourselves way too much, man. Like me earlier, man, I fucking, earlier, I was fucking woke. I was so woke to like the, the bullshit of my life. Like you have no idea. I was woke. And, I, and what I mean, and I, when I say woke, I'm not saying like the woke, woke, like in, like just in theory of people just, they, they kind of just throw that word around now. But when I say I, I'm, I was woke, like I was literally like, I literally saw myself when I was, like, five years old getting gaslighted by my mom. That's how woke I was. Like, like you know, I had, like, I was getting, I was getting, like, freaking, par uh, what's it called? I was getting memories from, like, when I was a child. Stuff that I'd never seen before. Or and I don't remember happening, but then I was, like, thinking, like, wow, I remember something like this. But, yeah, yeah. you know, I think, I guess it doesn't matter, matter what I think, but life is really short. And... I hate to say that to anybody who has anxiety, but I think it's important to just remind you because even if you have, you have crippling anxiety and you just don't know what the fuck to do with your life and you don't know, you, know, you just don't know what the fuck is next. Like you don't know when you're going to get your next fucking check. You don't know when you're going to get your next girlfriend. You don't know when you're going to get your next fuck. Dick sucked, whatever. Like all that shit can give me anxiety. Okay, like, but there's more important things. Like, when you get, how are you going to get money to feed your kids? Like, the real stuff, real stuff. Like, maybe you need a job, but you need to fuck, but you're, like, broke. And then they want you to drive over here. And you're just like, the fuck, man? Like, I got a job. Like, this is the only job that would hire me. But that shit's fucking two hours away. And I got to fucking, I got money for a car or fucking transportation. There's a lot of shit to be fucking, to be anxious about and to be depressed about. Like, I don't blame anybody for fucking wanting to, I don't blame anybody for wanting to feel, through or for feeling like victim in a way. If you, unless you're always playing that type, if you're always playing the victim, then maybe I'm kind of like, yeah, stop it. But if like, you know, like right now, currently it's, it's different. It's it's like totally different right now. But it was, that's like, the, like, I was watching a podcast earlier with Hobson and Hobson just had something that like I, I resonated with and he said that. He said that honestly, it was it, it it wasn't the pandemic's fault that all these people didn't have money. It was low key their fault. And I thought about it. I gave it some thought. You know, I gave it some thought. I said, "Hold up, what did you just say?" Hold up. And I was like, "Cause first I was like, I took offense, and I was like, hold up." And then I realized that he was actually true. He he was right. Like if you think about it, like if anything like that could have happened, and then. Or like say like get all your money in the bank and the bank freaking gets hacked and all your money's gone. You know what I mean? It's come on, man. This shit is short. That's why like I do. That's why if, for people who like for people who ever listen to me, if you like work at any of the companies that I used to like run my software or like some shit like that. If you ever wonder like why the fuck do I make podcasts if I don't really have much of an audience or why do I make any content if I don't have much of an audience? And the truth is that. My answer is going to be the same. It's because I'm going to, I don't have that much time. I'm going to die soon. You know what I mean? Like pretty much I could die any other day. Well, I could die tomorrow. I could die today. You know what I mean? Today might be my last day of being alive. That's why I just feel like you can't just wait for, you just can't wait to be, to be famous, to start doing shit that you want to always do. You just got to do that shit. If you're famous and cool. But I'm not, I don't really give a fuck about fame, to be honest. Yeah, I don't want fame. I like going to the fucking store without brushing my teeth sometimes. I like going to the store in some fucking basketball shorts and flip-flops and, 
You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck sometimes. But then if you're famous, you can't do that. Like you can't just fucking go to the store without brushing your teeth. You can't do that anymore. You can't go for a morning walk. The fuck? You know what I mean? That's why that's why I wouldn't want the fame. I just want the money. Like I want the money that that's what that comes from the fame. I don't want the fame though. You know what I mean? I don't care about being on the spotlight. But if I'm I just wanna make I just wanna be able to I don't know, I guess I guess what I wanna I definitely don't ever wanna I don't know, to be honest. I have plans. I've dotted out. Like I even put like numbers together and like no the potential. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna go like like low key like less because I'm almost thirty and I usually don't live with people like me don't usually live past fifty five or sixty. So it's scary. It's scary. And to think that I'm thirty and I mean, basically, you know, I already got rid of the thought you know, that I'm you gonna know, ever get like it's kind of hard, but I, I already feel I think it's okay for me to to just accept the fact that I'm never gonna get married, or because yeah, like or I'm never gonna have kids in me because I wouldn't want I don't I don't want to have. Don't get me wrong, I want kids, but I don't know. I, I get scared of thinking about like, what if I bring a kid into this world and then I can't give it, I can't take care of it to the point where that where it can't even have its like you know its own basic needs. You know, that's what, that, that freaks me the fuck out. Like, that's why I don't know how there's, there's guys out here that have kids. And they just, you know, don't know, they just act like they really don't give a fuck. And all they care about is telling people that they have kids. It's like, hey, hey man, my boy, look at my little boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all they really give a fuck about. But I wonder if they're really, if, if they're really out here, like, helping their kid out. You know, are they really out here? Putting a fucking investment account together for their child and fucking LLCs together for their child. Fucking hiring their child to, to fucking work for you so that he can do 1099 and pay off his college before he even fucking goes. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just angry. I'm angry at the fact that I learned all this shit after. I didn't really give a fuck about all this stuff before. And I guess whatever happens, I guess I don't have a choice. And... Like I said earlier to that girl, I don't really have a choice. If that's what you're free to, you're perfectly fine and free to leave my life whenever you want. And I have to be okay with that. And I think it's important that you have to learn, you have to learn the same ways too. And sometimes it takes a while. It takes longer than six months sometimes. You don't really start seeing some. You don't really start seeing somebody's side until like maybe like a year. You want to until you're really with somebody for like a year. You're gonna know the ins and outs of them like pretty much. If you spend enough time together, you'll know like their little ticks and stuff like that. And yeah, like things like that are gonna start being annoying. The things that you things that you found at the beginning of the relationship. That you just oh that's so cute oh I like when you do that like it, it that, that's the stuff that gets fucking annoying after a while like that stuff is getting it so fucking annoying I really I pray for this girl because like I really wish she wasn't so shallow like I was telling her like okay let me tell you like I was being straight up where I was like girl to be honest like you're not all that like. I said, okay, yeah, I did miss you when you left. I do like hanging out with you. I do have, like having you in my life. But she over, she put herself like way too, yeah, she went like, she put herself on a big, a big old pedestal. I was like, girl, you are not that special. Like, to be honest, like I told her, I was like, to be honest, like, you're not that special. Like, I'm just like, I'm interested in you, that, but I'm not saying that you're like the best catch right now. Hell no. There's way better girls than her, doing than her. But, but I'm just saying, it's just that sometimes you, there's people that you like, and if you like them, then that's it. Why, why, why try to find something? Why try to fix something that's not broken? If you think if you like somebody, then you like them. That's why I tell a lot of guys too. A lot of guys don't get it. They ask me like, "How do you get with girls?" I'm just like, "Bro, to be honest, like girls do care about looks, but then if they fucking like you." They fucking like you, bro. And you know what I mean? I can't give you the answer to that because there could be many reasons, but I just don't know. But usually it's, yeah, like, bro, she you, bro. Then girls make it so easy. They make it very, I noticed that women make it very easy for, for they make it very easy for us to, to let them know or for to let us know that they're interested. But I think guys, we tend to not pick it up.
so easily. That's the problem. We tend to like overlook those things and, and we start to, we look for other validating factors and it is so bad. I'm going to be all right though. Cause like I've been through this shit. I, I, when people walk out of your life, when people walk out of your life and that pain that you go through and you're going to, cause you, you're going to go through that pain. Like you just, there's no, there's no way around it. It hurts. You're going to go, you're going to go through that pain. And it's just like, it's really up to you to choose who you will allow like when it comes to anything that's that's gonna hurt you or hurt that's someone else you gotta ask a lot of questions fucking sad sad but i'm all right i'll be all right i just i just think that if there's anything that you should get from this if you've been with me this long don't fuck it fuck it sometimes it's not as I say, beans is, and before I realized that it's not really fucking important or not, like people, people don't really give a fuck. 80% are just fucking, you know, they don't give a fuck. Another 20% is happy that you're fucking losing. So it's like, man, for real, you know, I'm having really bad anxiety. I'm gonna take a Xanax, hopefully, and, yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna take a Xanax, fucking, hopefully, it's like I get some sleep and then, fuck it. We're gonna start over all again. Getting over, getting over her again. Moving on with her out of my life again. Like, fuck. You're so stupid sometimes. Some of us, like, we play with fire and then we play with fire again. Like, as if it's not going to burn the second time. Fuck, what's wrong? What's really wrong with us, yo? It's, it's crazy. It's so crazy like, that we do some shit like that to us. Fuck it, fuck it. The fuck are we going to do? I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Please subscribe. I know it's crazy, but I think if you're not crazy, Something is wrong with you.